Welcome to the finale of Mega Man 10, and in this episode, we're going to finally catch up to Dr. Wily so we could get all of the cures that he had created to try to sell off the people. And speaking of selling, let me ask a question. Just exactly how much money did this man suckered off of the people from Mega Man 9 to build this castle? No matter how many times I see it, this still trips me out. That is a lot of fucking money he wasted. All for an elaborate scheme for the prototype of the Maverick virus. Anyway... <clears throat> it is time for us to, uh... And yeah, I accidentally hit the, uh, right bumper. It is time for us to go through this area. There are moles here. Mega Man and Proto Man can easily tear through these things. But Base? Nope. He can't. Uh, well, actually, yeah, he can. The thing of the matter is, he'll have to actually wait for them to come out instead of actually shooting through the, uh, scenery because, of course, Base can't shoot through walls. And, yeah, Base pretty much has... Wait, hold on. I was about to say, Base had all of his lives. Why did I go and get another life? I mean, I don't know. But whatever the case, we gotta be careful with this jump. That one-up was there for a reason. And if you thought for a second that that's actually a master take, you're sadly mistaken. That's gonna be before the final fight with Wily. You're just gonna need the Commando Bomb because guess what? There's no reason for you to even use it anymore. Because the actual weapon you're gonna be using is the Chill Spike. We're not there yet, though, because we still got a little bit more ground to cover. Doesn't matter what path you take, it's going to be full of moles, and those moles will drop items, drop bolts, and sometimes drop energy tanks. Yeah, kind of messed up, ain't it? But, now we are at the final area. So, we can make that jump for the Aishichi and miss completely the actual master tank. Crap. Not like I'm gonna need it anyway, because see, it's Dr. Wily. This one is actually the easiest of the Wily capsules. No, last one was Wily Machine. This is the Wily capsule, and this Wily capsule is weak to the Chill Spike. So, how is this gonna work? Real simple get the guy who's sneezing. That's it. You attack the robot, uh, Dr. Wily, guess what he's gonna do? Fire more of those beams that he just fired. And the thing is, it takes like two or three passes. To, um, depend. Okay, more like three or five passes, depending on the um, difficulty. It's only one pass in this game. Well, in the difficulty, basically. Like if it's on uh, easy, there's two pass. One going to the one's going to the robot and the other one going to Dr. Wily. Sorry, I'm stuttering here. And he also has the heat-seeking uh, orbs that will try to seek you twice. Whereas, in normal and hard, they'll seek you three times. But still, this is by far the easiest boss in the game. All I need is just one more chill spike and he is good as dead. See? Just that easy. Hell, I could use the base buster and just stand right there and just wailed on him with the base buster. It wouldn't have mattered. Because even on the hardest difficulty, this is the easiest boss in the game. Ah, then base has to reprimand this man. How many times do we have to kick your ass, old man? But sadly, this may be the last time base will ever be in a Mega Man game. Well, playable anyway. Hopefully, they actually make a Mega Man 12 where he is playable. Or, you know, a remaster of Mega Man in base that's actually good. But nonetheless, Wily caught the flu in his space station. And base just leaves him there and just says, Yeet! Ha <laughs> ha! That's hilarious. And now it's Proto Man's turn. And yes, I actually got the master take with him. Doesn't really matter because at the end of the day... You're just going to need the E-Tank in order for you to survive for Pono Man because of his double damage. Mega Man, not so much. 
So the point of the matter is, you can actually use the charge shot to end Wily really quickly. And the gravity will allow you to reach Wily's location. Just be careful. Do not, under any circumstances, shoot the robot. And more importantly, be careful of the, uh, bolts. Now, if you accidentally hit him with the chill spike, it'll actually be, uh... Well, actually, if you hit him with the chill spike, Wily will actually sneeze a little bit. Sometimes he will, sometimes he won't. And that sneeze will give away who's the real Wily and who isn't. Now, accidentally hitting the Wily robot will allow him to actually throw three passes with the uh, beam attack. But it's okay, we're almost done here. And no, the shield cannot deflect that. Come on, pass me. You can do it. You can do it. I told you. I was going to take care of Wily with both Proto Man and Bit. Oh, no. Thank goodness I got that. Because otherwise I would have been suffering the consequences. But it doesn't matter, folks. We are... Hold on one second. Sorry, I accidentally knocked over my microphone. So, uh... Yeah, I managed to pick it up before it fell. Anyway, Proto Man now makes fun of Dr. Wily. Because after all, Dr. Wily has pretty much failed once again and he's gotten sick. Also, if you're playing as Mega Man, he asked if, Wo if Wily caught Robowenza. So, Wily will answer, um,. Uh, Mega Man is saying, I'm a human, not a robot. But with that said, either way, Wily will end up going to the hospital and escaping. Just like that. Oh no, Wily's going missing! Oh, what is this? And because you saved him, okay, Proto Man and Mega Man saved him, basis of this ass out to die. He gives you a bunch of uh, prototype cures for the Roboenza and flies right off. A little lackluster considering Mega Man 9 had a much better ending, but still, 10's pretty good in its own right. It actually will get you into the series. More importantly, let you learn the level. You can pump up the difficulty to see if you could fare any better. Spoiler warning, I could. I just wanted to show off just how easy it is to get in this game. And let's be honest with you. If you want to get into a game, in the Mega Man games, any one in the series, you start with this one. And then you probably have to work your way down and around or something like that. But, <clears throat> how shall I put this? The only thing you're going to have to worry about is a few things. First and foremost, Wily Castle Stage 2 is a bitch. Secondly, <clears throat> Proto Man's weakness. Third of all, you'll have to actually play around with the um, weaknesses of Base and Mega Man as well because Mega Man is back to basic Mega Man 2 Mega Man. And uh, Base doesn't have his double jump if you're coming in from Mega Man and Base. So bear that in mind. Now, Weapon loadout. I'd say the only good weapon in this entire group is actually the Commando Bomb, to an extent, uh, the Chill Spike, to an extent, and the Triple Blade, which is actually pretty good. Those are the only good weapons. Everything else is situational, or in the case of Lightning Wool, it's trash. But the story so far is not that bad, except for the ending is a little lackluster. Like, he just walks away. At least he didn't go out of a trap door like he did in Mega Man 4. And the music is pretty good. I love the quality of music in the Mega Man games. They're pretty damn good. The only thing that could have made this a little bit better is if they actually allowed Base and Proto Man to buy an M-Tank. Instead of, you know, making the two having to wait until the Wily stages in order for it to get an M-Tank. But, who am I to judge? Anyway, 
NT Creates put their heart and soul in Mega Man 10, and they pulled out all the stops. I will give them credit, this is a fairly standard game. This is a good game for you to start in. Now, if you honest to God want a challenge? Oh no, that's the next game in the series. Whoo, the next game in the series is Mega Man 11, but I'm not playing that right now. I'm kind of mega, like, burnt out. So, uh, I need to save as much Mega Man love as I can for ZX later on in the year. Because I'm playing that for uh, Mega Merry Christmas, in case anybody is wondering. But, uh... As far as for your hardest one, I think one of the harder ones is 11. You just gotta figure out how things work and trial and error. 7 is the hardest game in the series. Bar none, hands down. 7... God damn, it could go to hell. It could seriously go to hell in a handbasket. And while it at while we're at it, take three with you. <laughs> I mean, easiest game in the series, but yeah, that can also get a go to hell in the handbasket because of the damn dock robots. And this isn't just a rant. This is just overall because once I play eleven, unless Mega Man Twelve is announced somewhere along the line next year or year prior or whatnot, that's it. That's it for the number of Mega Man series. I would be practically done with the whole Mega Man series. Which is ironic, because by the time I do do 11, I'll have to do ZX Advent later on in the year. Or next year, actually. So, yeah. I would practically take care of the numbered series, except for the Legend series, which those are really hard to find. And I'm not going to try to find them because they cost a lot of money. Oh, and I tried to find any emulations of them. No dice, because they aren't really complete. So, if anything... The very last Mega Man game I'd probably be able to play once I get rid of well, no, once I get CX Advent and also Eleven done would basically be command missions, and that's going to be a, tri a trial and error and a half. But nonetheless, folks, we are done with Mega Man Ten. Next Thursday is going to be my birthday. I'll probably do something uh, special for my birthday and start another playthrough on Friday. But I know for a fact that my birthday, I'll probably have a little stream set up. I'll have more details on that. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.